Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. I know we've beaten the main game now, but there are some more secrets for us to find. First up, we're going back to Spiral Mountain. It has been a while, hasn't it? You really don't go back to Spiral Mountain after you clear it for the first time. But we will this time. Because there's more stuff to do here. Well, specifically, there's one big secret that we can find. We're gonna go back to Banjo's house, everybody. Because there's something special in here that we're gonna do today. And you can do this at any point in the game, but... What we do is we go by the fireplace, go into first person, and look up. Okay, it can be a little finicky at times. Right at the end of the rug, maybe? Yeah, right there, there we go. Well, hey, you found my secret moving picture game. Complete this puzzle and you can win a mystery prize. It better be good, soil brain. Do I get some new moves? Uh, maybe. Now watch this. Control stick to move Banjo's hand. Press A to pick up and put down pieces. B to return them to the side, or the left and right C buttons to rotate them. So we got a time limit and we've got to complete these pictures right here. It's pretty simple to do. Especially this first one, we don't even have to rotate anything. And all of the pieces are pretty much arranged exactly where they need to be. The later puzzles get a lot more tricky, though. No, I wanted to put it... But okay. I, I had to put it in all the wrong spots, apparently. At least you can see, kind of, because the moving picture moves with the uh, broken pieces, so you can see more or less where they need to go. The first one's super easy, because all the pieces are basically exactly where they need to be all in a row. Bada beam, bada boom. Hey, you did it! It was easy, Beetle Breath. Why do we win? Listen carefully, and I'll tell you. Use the tiles on the floor of the sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove to spell the word Bottles Bonus 1. Go and give it a try! Yes, yeah, so. You can also try level 2 of my game if you like. Just look at the picture again. Yeah, so we're going to do these pi uh, picture puzzles today, because we learn different codes every time we do them. This one's mostly the same. None of them rotate, however. The pieces actually get thrown into disarray. No, put it, put it here. Okay, fine, put it there. There we go. So now we actually have to hunt down all the pieces. It's the middle pieces, really, that are the tricky ones. Come on. It could be such a pain in the butt to put the pieces in the... just in the square that you want to. Stop crying about these kids. the sandcastle floor. I can't remember how many of these there are. Why not try level 3 now? Why not indeed, Bottles? This is where things start getting tricky, because watch the pieces. So now we actually have to rotate them. Once you know... Once you know the overall shape is supposed to be, so for example, this one... The middle pieces always go... Oh, look, uh always look like this. 
with the holes in the bottom and the left, and then the extra bits on the top. Empty hole there at the bottom of the upper left corner. Not all of the pieces will be rotated, though. Piece. 90% of the battle for this game is just learning what I can't talk right now. Gotta solve the puzzle. 90% of the battle for this is like trying to figure out the orientation of the pieces. Like, knowing which corner piece looks like what. So, for example, we know this is not going to be a lower piece, and we also know this is not going to be a sideways piece, this is going to be a top piece. That helps sort out the rotation, and then it's just figuring out, alright, well, where does it actually go in the picture? The captain's cabin. Wow, nice going! Try the word bottles bonus three this time! These bonuses screwed me up in a prior playthrough. Go on! Give level 4 a go! Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how later. Now it's Nabnut's house. That's gonna be a top piece. I got totally lucky there. I know it's going to be the upper right piece, because it'll be the upper right piece looks like that. This puzzle's annoying because it's just brown, basically, so it's kind of trial and error. Yeah, so if you didn't know which way the middle pieces were supposed to be rotated, uh, you might be in some trouble there. Thankfully, the game doesn't punish you for putting stuff in the wrong place. Alright, not too bad. Easy, huh? You can now go and see what the word Bottles Bonus 4 does! I want to say there are, like, seven or eight levels. Hey! Level five is waiting for you! Alright. Oh no. You guys see what this picture is. It's my worst nightmare. I finished with more than more than half the time left. Core, cool, I'm impressed. Go and try bottles bonus five. Core, is that a British thing? Like core. Just one more level left, guys. 
All right, let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's in that monster mansion, eh? It's Big Bottle's bonus! Uh, I've got no more games left for you to play now. Ha! Fooled you! I've got one really special prize left! Let's see you do this one, Featherface! I'm ready, Goggles! Here we go! It's the Zemahive. Let's see what we can do with this one. This one's actually not that bad. I love the music here. Holy cow, the music's really good. I mean, it's kind of par for the course of this game. Hey, you must have cheated to do that! No way, Bug Slurper! Now hand over that special prize! Oh, very well! Enter the code Wishy Washy Banjo for some good, clean fun! Oh, okay. Well, now we gotta test out what those codes are. So, I'll meet you guys in the Treasure Trove Cove Sandcastle. Alright, here we are in the sand castle, so let's try Bottles Bonus once. B O T T L E S Bonus <laughs> Look at you! To change back, just type no bonus! <laughs> so yeah, this makes Banjo's head absolutely enormous. Uh huh. <laughs> Bottles bonus one does that, uh huh. Alright, let's type in no bonus. I don't, I'm not sure what happens if you try to do Bottles bonus two with the other one. 
one. So let's... I'm just gonna reset and then we can try Bottle's Bonus 2. Bottle's Bonus 2! And now, we have enormous feet and hands. Now, I'm just gonna say this right now, this might... Uh, these bonuses may affect the way you can play your game, and I will get more into that once we get to the final of the codes. So now I'm curious, if we try... Oh no. Okay, so we literally can't activate another cheat until we do no bonus and leave. Okay, good to know. Bottles, bonus, three. Now Kazooie's head and wings are enormous. I wonder if that would make the Rattata Rap have a bigger hitbox. Probably not, knowing this game. Bottles bonus four. Oh, lord, that is terrifying. Uh, so it makes our body stretchy and makes Banjo's head incredibly small. Oh, that is terrifying. Holy oh, lord. Oh, no. Oh, I've never seen this one before. Oh, this is awful. Oh, this is awful. No, 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 no. <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> This is the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> I am not a hot dog. No bonus! <laughs> Whew. Okay. I'm good now. Bottles bonus five. No, oh, no, no. That's even worse. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe it's worse. I don't really. No, I don't think it's worse, but turn that off. <laughs> Who would go through the whole game? Well, actually, it. You can't. You can't go through the whole game like this. As I'm going to tell you why, because uh, I tried going through the game in a form similar to this, and it didn't work out. Big bottles bonus. And this just makes every part of our body enormous, except our body, apparently. Including Kazooie, oh lord. Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, Kazooie's legs are tiny too, oh. This is... Oh, lord. This is, uh, quite the thing, eh? And that's not even the weirdest. That is not even the weirdest of the bonuses. We're gonna do the final of the bonuses once I deactivate this cheat. Because I don't think this one and the next one play nicely with each other. Although, feel free to experiment in your own, uh, copy of the game. Anyhow. We leave, and now we're going to type in the final code, which is, um, Wishy Washy Banjo. Very different from the other codes. So this is the code I activated, because what I did is, I say recently, it was probably like a year or two ago, I did a full-on stream where I tried to stream the entire Banjo-Kazooie in 100% in one go. I did it, but... I, I, like, halfway through, I activated this, uh, this cheat, Wishy Washy Banjo, and it screwed things up once I got to Click Clock Wood. And all, more on that once I actually see what happens. But holy cow, it was very, very bad. Hey, that much bad magic? Washer not as good as bear? Don't come balling to mumbo if can't get through all the worlds. Wish you told me- well, he did actually tell me that when I did this earlier. So yeah, we literally play as a washing machine now. Kazooie's not even here, we literally- we can do all the same moves. But as a washing machine. It's extraordinarily bizarre. And like Momo said, you can't get through all of the worlds as a washing machine. I got to Click Clock Wood. I think I did everything up to Click Clock Wood just fine. Once I got to Click Clock Wood, I couldn't defeat the Zubbas. Like, as the wish in summer, I went in there and you normally fight them as Banjo, they would not appear. So I couldn't get that jiggy. And there were just another, a couple of other things like the, wish, the washing machine can't fit through every single corridor that uh, Banjo can. It was not fun. But yeah, you can have, you can feel free to have fun with washing machine banjo, but uh, don't try getting 100% in the game in a single stream as the washing machine, because I had to deactivate that, which involved leaving Click Rock Wood and having to do it all again. That was not fun. That was not fun at all. 
Anyhow, that's it for this bonus episode. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'm, I just realized, I actually looked it up how many Mumbo tokens there are in the game. I have 28, I thought there were 30. No, there are 40 additional ones, so I'm missing 12. I'm still debating whether or not I will actually do a bonus video where I get the rest of them, because honestly, look, I look, I got a whole list of all, all where all 115 Mumbo tokens are in the game. There are 115 in the game, 40 additional uh, after the ones that you need. I, there are a couple where I'm like, I definitely didn't get that, but most of them I'm like, I'm pretty sure I got that, but clearly I didn't get them all, so that might involve me having to go back to like literally every world. I don't really know if I want to do that, so next video might just be covering all of the extra stuff that I can't do, and all of the rest of the codes for the sandcastle. So I look forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.